Hey guys, Hardly Brief Dan here with another episode of the Unity Make an RPG series. Today we're going to be working on our inventory system like I promised, uh, but first we'll go ahead and do a quick review of what we did last time. Uh, last time we created a class called Base Item, which is the base uh, of all of our items that are going to be in the game. Uh, we originally did this at the start of the last tutorial series where we created, where I went over the basic, the same concept here of creating items or a base uh, item that all of our other items will inherit, right? So uh, we can have another class called Weapon that inherits base items. So we'll get all these basic, uh, we'll get all these basic, like the name, description, get all these basic values, but then we can go ahead and customize the weapon and give it more things like enchantments and stuff that maybe all items don't have. Uh, anyways, so we created this class, we set up our public getters and setters, and we we set up a constructor here that all new items will run this method and be created in. Uh, to answer a couple of the comments, um, a couple of people asked, one, why do I use public getters and setters? Uh, two, why don't I just use a shorthand method of doing public string, item name, get, and set? Uh, the reason, one, I don't I reference these private variables, uh, and that's why I don't just do the shorthand method. I have done the shorthand method in several videos. I've talked about it. Uh, the reason why I don't use a whole bunch of like a constructor uh, here is because I want to. Basically, I set it up so that you guys can go ahead and create a whole bunch of different classes later that really customize the way your items are built. You can use uh, custom constructors here and set up items based on whatever inputs you want. Uh, that is a way to do it. Uh, I've just this is the way I was taught, so I don't, I haven't changed it up. I'm not sure if this is the right way, but if it's if you know it works for me, uh, and it's pretty easy and simple to, and organized for me to follow along with, so that's why I do that. Uh, but anyways, after we created this base class here, we went ahead and uh, went to our base player uh, class where we set up an inventory using a list. Remember, we've used list before. We were using it for our stats, and now we're using it for our inventory. So instead of base stat list we're using a base item list where we can store any object in there that uh, has base item as its base class so uh, we created this inventory and then we created a for loop here where this for loop creates an item ten times so every time it runs a for loop right it, it creates an item we add that item called item to our inventory using inventory add which is a method of the type list uh, and then we use debug.log to go ahead and display uh, the information of all these items into the console on screen. And the last thing we did is debug.log the inventory.count, which basically counts all the objects or all the items that are stored in the list called inventory. And that just kind of proves to you guys that we are storing, that the item is actually in there, and that we have, um, that we have all 10 items that we created. Uh, so now what we're going to be doing today is setting up the UI, starting to set up the UI for our inventory window. Uh, we're going to be using a slot item icon based inventory, uh, much like a lot of RPGs have. Uh, this will be that'll be the first one. I can show you guys how to set up a list, but basically this one will give you guys a really good idea on how to reference all these variables and stuff, and how to display information. And I, th I think it will be good. Um, enough for you guys to see how to create your own inventories later on. Uh, so having said that, I'm going to jump back into Unity. I'm in the Unity project here, the 2015 project that we've started before. Um, before we do get started with creating the UI, uh, I added a folder called Sprites in our project folder. And I have gone ahead, I gone ahead and downloaded um, some Sprites. Uh, I went to opengameart.org and I downloaded a pack, a, a pack, or a, basically a zip file of a whole bunch of artwork that uh, I could never do. I'm not that good at art, uh, so I've downloaded some. I've imported four of them here, and uh, here is like one of them armor. Uh, and actually, let me reference this, the author real fast. Uh, he asked, I'll put a link down to his portfolio uh, below the description. His name is Raven Moore. He's on Open Game art.org and he created a whole bunch of sprites that you guys can use a whole bunch of icons uh, and that's what we're going to be using for uh, this project uh, you can go ahead and check it out again I'll post the link in the description below uh, so anyways again I've imported four of these uh, I've also imported an icon background which is just a um, simple gray background with a black border that I got from uh, I created in an Inkscape you can guys go ahead and create one very simple uh, but we need a background for our uh, icon 
that we're going to be doing today. So, anyways, when you sorry, my phone's vibrating. So, when you import an image uh, by default, the texture type is going to be set to texture. So, what you want to do is go ahead and change the texture type by clicking on the uh, the icon, the actual texture, and changing it to a sprite, and click apply. Uh, I'm using all the default settings here. I'm not going to changing any of that. Uh, you can if you want, but again, just using default settings. So, I've done that for all my images here, and now we can go ahead and get started. So. I'm in our first scene here. I've labeled it first scene. Uh, we haven't created any new ones. So I'm in first scene. I'm going to go ahead. Here's our camera. I'm going to go ahead and click, <clears throat> excuse me, game object and go to UI and hit panel. So now what this does, it creates a canvas here in our hierarchy and an event system. Event system handles all the button presses and stuff and uh, touch input and all that stuff. Uh, we're not going to get into that in this video. I have talked about the canvas and that's what we're going to be working on today. Canvas is what is created when you create a new um, or when you work on the new UI system in Unity panel is the game object that we created so clicking on this grid icon up here we're gonna go ahead and resize the panel here uh, and right now it's gonna be arbitrary how big it is we can change it later oops sorry hit the mic uh, but what we want to do is go ahead and work on our window so I'm gonna rename this panel to inventory window like uh, this inventory window hit enter and now the game object is changed to inventory window and what this is going to do this is going to be the parent of all the uh, UI items that we add uh, in the next couple videos so basically this will hold all of our inventory uh, it will hold like the title any images we have it, this is it this is the the window uh, and what I'd like to do now is go ahead and create, make it a little pretty, add like an icon here of a backpack and some text and a button that closes it and uh, get that up and running. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and jump into creating the actual item icon. So what we want to do is go ahead and add a few things to um, the inventory window. The first thing we want to go ahead and add is a button. So we'll go to UI and click button. I'm going to go ahead and make it a, a child of inventory window. So I'm going to drag it onto inventory window. You see that it's moved to the right here in the hierarchy screen. And I'm going to move this to the upper right hand corner. I'm going to click this little arrow and click on the text. And we're going to change the text just to an X. Uh, I'm going to click change the text title up there to close. Uh, the button is going to be called close window. So close window click enter and now we want to go ahead and resize it so I'm gonna change this to 25 by 25 and that's just arbitrary just decided 25 25 would work I'm gonna hold control and use my mouse wheel to zoom in a bit now I'm using the mouse wheel clicking it and dragging it around I'm gonna move this X to our corner over here and now we have an X button uh, what I want to do now is um, set up the set up a function so that it turns off our game object so what we want to do is I'm going to show you when I click play or in the game view I can click this button but it's not doing anything what we want it to do is when I click it to turn off or deactivate this window so how we're going to do that is by clicking on close window you see this little box down here on the button uh, component called on click on click and the list is empty so what we're going to do is go ahead and add one to the list so click the add button and you have the couple options here you have runtime only editor run in the editor or in on runtime or just turn it off we're going to keep on runtime only and now what we want to do is grab some object the object we're going to grab is the inventory window so go ahead and click the inventory window drag it to non object and now the the no function button here lights up and we can click some functions so what we want to do is go to game object and we want to click on set active bool so basically what we've created is a button that will deactivate or set active to false of the game object so this little arrow up here when I click on inventory window in the inspector we have this little colored cube with a little arrow and this little arrow base or this little check mark here excuse me uh, determine says whether or not it's active so when I hit the ar arrow it turns gray and you can see in our scene view that it's disappeared really the artwork isn't there the game object is set 
active false, meaning it's not active. We're not using resources to display it. Now when I click it, it turns it back on. So basically what we've done is set up that X, this closed window button, to do that. Uh, and what I'll do is go ahead, I'm going to go to game view and make sure that we're not going to maximize on play. I'm going to go ahead and, and hit play, and we're going to jump into our game view. I'm going to hit the button. You'll see that it closes the window. It's gone. It's turned it off here in a hierarchy and inspector, so you know that we can't get it back. Now, or that we can't look at it. Now what we're going to do later, and not in this video, is we'll add a basically a, a command here or like a script that monitors input. And when maybe when we hit the one button or I button or B button for backpack or something, we'll open the inventory window and uh, if you can use the X button to close it. But now that we have that set up, I want to go ahead and add a couple more things. Uh, I want to add a image. So we're going to go ahead and go to game object UI. We're going to click the image uh, <clears throat> button there, the link, and we're going to change the image size to about 50 by 50. And I'm going to head, go ahead and click control or hit control and zoom in with the wheel so I can look at this a little bit better. I'm going to drag it up here to the corner. It doesn't really matter where. I'm going to make sure I drag image under inventory window and make a child of it. So now we can look at align it to the right and stuff. I'm going to go ahead and uh, change the title from or the yeah the title of it from image to backpack icon. Uh, and now, on uh, clicking in my sprites folder here, the backpack icon, I'm going to go ahead and drag it onto our backpack icon uh, image. So you click the backpack and you click and drag, move it to source image, and you see we now have image here. And this image is of a backpack, which is what we want. So now when I go to game view, you can see that we have a little backpack here up in the corner. And to me, that just shows, hey, this is our... Uh, backpack window or inventory. This is where all of our items and stuff are, right? In a backpack. So now what we want to do is add one more object to our inventory window. And I'm going to go to game object UI and I'm going to click text. So now we have this text object. I'm going to click it in the hierarchy. I'm going to drag it under onto our inventory window, make it a child of it. And now I'm going to center it on the backpack. So you see that, hopefully you can see that little blue line. It's centered now. And what I'm going to do is change the text to inventory window. So now we know this is the inventory window. Pretty self-explanatory, but I uh, just wanted to do that. So now we'll go in the game view. You can see our inventory window here. I'll hit play. Everything still works. Everything will turn off. Nothing stays behind when I click the X button because we've made all these children of the inventory window. Uh, now what you can do is if you want you can you can create custom windows you can change the source image here of our uh, panel so I'll go ahead and change it to the icon background so now we have like this uh, ugly looking window if you want that I don't want it so I'm gonna hit control Z to redo it you know to undo what I had just done <clears throat> but if you if you're good at artwork and stuff and you create this cool looking window uh, you want to drag that background onto the source image uh, of your main window, the inventory window. Uh, okay, so now that we've done that, I'm going to go ahead and change this text to uh, inventory title so we know what it is later. Uh, so now what we're going to work on uh, for the rest of the video is cre creating a icon prefab, or an item slot prefab. So on the canvas, we're going to go ahead and create a new game object. We're going to call it a, uh, it's going to be <clears throat> an image here. So you see this white spot. This is our new image. I'm going to drag it onto our inventory window here just to look at it. And we're going to resize it to, I'm going to say 50 uh, by 50 for now. That might be a little too small. Uh, but what we want to do is go ahead and create a basic icon. Now, what, what will our icon need? Well, it's going to have a background, and then it's going to have a spot where we put the icon image. Um, at least that's how we're, we're going to do it. Uh, there's a couple ways you can handle it. You can have one image is uh, is your icon, uh, and you can flip flop them. You can have an empty slot image, which is gonna, like a like an icon background image, right? That's like an empty slot here. That'd be like an empty slot. Uh, maybe you want to have only a certain number of icons, so you don't want to you don't want to have to like uh, how should I say this? You don't want to layer them. 
Uh, but we're going to be layering them. It makes it, it, makes it look uh, a little cooler, I guess. Nothing special. It's pretty simple, like I said. So we'll go ahead and do that now. So basically we have this image here, and we're going to title it. Instead of image, we're going to title it uh, item slot. Um, and this item slot is going to have a background. And for us, we're going to have icon background. Right? So every icon will, or every item slot will be this black border gray box. And I'll go to the game view. You can go ahead and see it here. Uh, it's not nothing pretty, but that's what it is, right? And this, to me, represents an empty icon or empty slot, meaning we can put a, uh, an item there. So what we'll do is when an item is there is we're going to have an image, another image that we can change. So I'm going to click on item slot. I'm going to hit control D to duplicate it. I'm going to drag it onto item slot. I'm going to rename it from item slot to item icon. Okay. And I'm going to go ahead and resize it. Uh, and you can see me, I'm holding uh, a shift here to kind of size it together. Uh, I'm going to drag it here in the middle. So you can see the icon there. I go into the game. You can see that there's actually two images there. And in there, we're going to go ahead and instead of the icon background, uh, we're going to change it to, like, let's say a sword. So there you can see our sword is in it. I go to game view. You see the sword icon item is in there, meaning that basically if you click that, clicked on that in game, it would show that the sword, that is a sword item, and it shows all the stats and the name of all, and all that stuff. Uh, so that's a basic setup of an item slot. And what we're going to be doing in the next video is creating a script that basically uh, looks at your inventory, or excuse me, it's going to look at this item window, it's going to decide how many uh, item slots it can fit, so we'll give it a certain like length and width, and we'll say, okay, create you know five wide and five down, so we'll create 25 slots, uh, and it's going to use a couple for loops to do, or it's going to use a for loop to do that, it's going to run through and create all these prefabs, it's going to instantiate them, and add them in this window, uh, and then we'll go through. So after it does that, then we'll go ahead and say, well, let's look at our inventory, which again is in that base player, right? It's it's this underscore inventory uh, variable. We'll go ahead and look at that and say, okay, for every item in that inventory, go ahead and choose an icon and place it, uh, replace this item icon image, uh, the source image of that item. So hopefully you kind of understand that. Um, one more thing before I end the video, we're actually going to go ahead and create the prefab now, and that's real simple. So in our project folder here, we have a prefabs folder, and all you have to do is go ahead and click the item slot that we just created, the two images, and we're going to go ahead and drag and drop that into our prefabs folder. Uh, and you see in the prefabs folder here, we have this little blue box, this blue cube. Uh, it's called item slot, and now this is a game object that we can instantiate or create and add wherever we want, not just this window. We can put them anywhere. Uh, but anyways, that's the end of the video. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed it. Hopefully you learned something about the Unity UI. If you have, if you have any questions, go ahead and uh, put them down below. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Like the video. Uh, pass it along to your friends. Let everyone know. Uh, and I'll go ahead and talk to you guys next time.